what is up with y'all boys man let's get into it rva type b y'all gonna go on want to be in 156 bm y'all gonna want to be in that 150 max 160 range they probably you know what i'm saying very but it's going you know what i'm saying be around that 155 156 that's what i got all right so i went to expand and got me a little piano I got some I got some strings right here, right? Some basic, some little basic, you know what I'm saying? And here I got boo bass. Boo bass is free. So y'all get into this. Y'all need this on some of y'all beats. Right? So I got the piano, I got the strings. Y'all see how subtle them strings hit. Here we go with the boo bass. Hey, it's just following the piano strings, right? It's just it's basically layering the piano in the strings. All right, y'all want more layering? Boom. Go get some vocals. Layer them strings together. It's subtle, y'all. It's not even, I'm not doing too much with this beat. Look, I'm already done with the melody for real after this. I just layered it up again with like a, 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 a guitar. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just to add some more high frequency to that. So I'm gonna play that whole thing. Nice little, nice little melody, nothing too serious. Then I got the bell following pretty much the keys again. You know what I'm saying? Simple. I did a two-step hi-hat, nothing serious. You know what I'm saying? Two-step hi-hat with a nice little clap. And the way they do the clap and snare, this is what I've been hearing right here. Like the clap, clap, you know what I mean? That's what I've been hearing, that little part on them beats for real. I hear that happen with the snare. So I got other beats where I got the snare hand like that for the RVA shit. But yeah, that's pretty much what I hear. So I got it. I added another snare to layer that one. And sometimes I got that one doing it where the clap doesn't. Like right here, right here. The clap doesn't do it. Yeah, I mean, then I got right here where it doesn't hit at all. Just to keep it kind of different. Right. So then I added a hat pretty normal but what i did do it's not on this pattern i make two patterns for all my beats for real because i, I just know the hook is going to be one thing the verse is going to be another thing how to quickly do that go here you can be right here you can just press c sometimes and then it'll start a new one for you click press c it'll start a new one or you can just go to the pattern clone then do split by channel that's what i did for these so i can always go back to how the pattern was supposed to be just in case i like mess this part up you know what i mean Anyways, enough yapping. So then at the end, I just got triangle barely hitting for real. Triangle barely hitting for real. And then I got the little open hat. The kick, pretty simple for when you have like a boo bass type of, when you got a bass line like that, this is like the pretty basic kick pattern you, you want to go with. Look, I didn't even put my velocity up. You dig what I'm saying? Anyways, let's start off with the 808 as a matter of fact on pattern two. Hey, that little RVA, you know what I'm saying? That RVA little jig mixed in with the little four step kick. Yeah, you know I mean. But I'm gonna play the whole melody. For most of it, I just took some notes out. So like for boo bass, this is what I got for boo bass. So now I just cut the note shorter. But that it's kind of bouncy. You get what I mean? To not have those two clash, what you might want to do is just cut the low off the boo bass. You know what I'm saying? Like we'll get it. We'll understand. But um, for everything else, I really didn't change, to be honest, bro. Like the drums, drums wise, I really didn't change. I just added this part to the clap for the Chicho stuff. You know what I'm saying? I just added this little, when you do the second pattern for the verse, you just add little stuff, put some little extra in there. That's where you go. That's where you really go extra. The hook, you want to keep that kind of normal because, you know, that's the part that's really going to ride out. But that's the rest of the drums. But what I did do, for I got two triangles in here. I did this for another one of my beats. I got the shit sounding like a machine. You do what I'm saying? 
I got both the triangles in here. Just, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's playing with the hat, the open hat. Open hat, the ride, and the triangle. Going crazy. And that little last part, that ding dong ding, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the rest of the melody, I kept this the same, I think, right here, the guitar. All right, so other changes I got in here is the vocals. Now you see how much I got the vocals playing before I just had them in that small side. Now I got it the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Turn the attack up so it can hit like that. Uh, what else I got? The most I changed with the verse was the boo bass part. You know what I'm saying? And that's just so it can hit. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, when that verse come in, it hit. But that's really the beat, y'all. That's the whole beat. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play the whole beat for y'all. I just try to do a little quick video for y'all. Do the drums, do the melody. You do what I'm saying? A lot of it was me layering stuff together. Y'all just layer some stuff together, different sounds. You know what I'm saying? So it's hitting at different frequencies and you good. All, all every sound I use from kits was in my drum kit. It's in the it's in the description below. It's only five dollars right now. Get it for the low while you can. I did have it free for a week, so if you missed it, my fault. I got a demo kit that is free. Go get these. I'm out.